in this video we are going to discuss about twin t oscillator it is also called as parallel t oscillator it is a, a, another type of rc type oscillator circuits we have uh, discussed uh, um, rc oscillator and uh, wien bridge oscillator this are comes under the rc oscillator which is a low frequency oscillator right and it is having why it is uh, called as parallel t oscillator means it is having a two uh, t type rc network <coughs> which is connected in the feedback loop rc is nothing but a passive component right resistor and capacitor and it produces a band stop uh, or band rigid or notch filter output <coughs> so here the um, the output of this uh, twin t network is connected to the input of the op amp uh, and from the op amp uh, we have connected uh, to the input of this uh, twin t network this twin t network uh, this twin t oscillator will work better in op amp uh, compared to transistor because of uh, uh, because the op, op amp is having a very high input impedance and a very low output impedance and uh, and voltage gain also so let us discuss um, uh, how to uh, derive um, the equation for the gain and uh, frequency so this is your two t network this is one t network and another this is another t network uh, which is connected to the negative feedback right uh, at the non inverting terminal okay and uh, we have employed a uh, uh, negative feedback for this one and uh, there is also a positive feedback right so uh, first let us uh, uh, this uh, how uh, it will produce a 360 degree feedback means this op amp is producing 180 degree feedback op amp is producing 180 degree feedback and uh, this rc network that is twin t network uh, will produce another 180 degree feedback so therefore uh, we have 360 or uh, zero degree phase shift this is one of the criteria for oscillation right and uh, we know that the modulus of a beta is equal to 1 so let us uh, derive this problem ok uh, so this is um, uh, let me take uh, uh, this is the output right this is the output uh, uh, v naught and this is your uh, feedback right vf so uh, this point i have taken that as uh, v2 and this one as v3 ok so this is uh, I have taken this is V1 and uh, V4. So we apply a nodal uh, <coughs> uh, equation for this um, uh, for this node. Okay. So V1 minus the current is flowing in this direction. So V1 minus V2 divided by R. So this is your current. V by R is current plus so how many input current uh, on uh, incoming current is that two incoming current and one outgoing current so these two are incoming current and this is the outgoing current so v1 minus v2 divided by r plus vf minus v2 divided by r that is equal to v2 by uh, v2 by 1 divided by 2 sc okay So for uh, capacitance, you have to write 1 divided by SC. So in, in, uh, uh, since the value of capacitance here is 2C, so I have write, written as 1 divided by 2SC. So uh, here I am going to take the V2 as common. So if I take V2 as common, I will get V1 plus Vf divided by R is equal to 2V2 because this is uh, 2V2 by R so if it is going to the right side it will you will get 2 v2 by r so this term if it goes uh, to the numerator you will get 2 sc v2 so what is v2 now v2 is equal to v1 plus vf divided by uh, this r and r get cancelled out 2 div 2 in 2 plus 2 scr okay so this is your first equation on solving the uh, node 1 so this is your node 1 so ne next uh, I am going to take the uh, second node okay so if I take the second node how it looks like this is CC 
CC and this is V3 and this is V1, V4, okay, this is R by 2. So V1, V1, uh, 2 incoming current and 1 going, 1 outgoing current. So V1 minus V3, V1 minus V3 divided by 1 SC, 1 SC, 1 divided by SC plus uh, VF, uh, uh, is VF, right? Uh, Vf minus uh, V3 divided by uh, 1 Sc that is equal to V3 by R by 2. So you move uh, this V3 to the right hand side on moving you will get uh, uh, Sc V1 plus uh, Vf is equal to 2 V3 into 1 by R plus Sc. So what is V3 now? V3 is equal to uh, R Sc into V1 plus Vf divided by 2 plus 2 SCR. Okay. So, next one is node 4. So, where, where is node 4? Um, so, this one. Okay. So, at the node 4, uh, 2 outgoing current. So, I can write it as uh, um, Vf Vf minus V2 divided by R uh, plus uh, Vf by V minus V3 divided by 1 by SC. Okay. So on solving, uh, you will get um, uh, Vf is nothing but your V4. Uh, so on solving, you will get uh, V4 is equal to V2 plus uh, SCR V3 divided by 1 plus uh, SCR. So, I have uh, already derived the equation for V2 and V3. So, I am going to substitute uh, this first and second equation in the uh, equation 3. So, if I substitute, I will get V4 is equal to V1 plus Vf divided by 2 plus 2 SCR plus SCR into RSC into V1 plus Vf divided by 2 plus 2 SCR divide by 1 plus SCR. So, V4 is nothing but Vf. Uh, so, here I am going to take uh, this uh, uh, I can write uh, Vf, uh, if you can take uh, uh, V1 plus uh, Vf divided by 2 plus uh, 2 SCR. If you take uh, this one common, you will get uh, so uh, let me derive this one. Okay. V1 plus Vf divided by 2 plus 2 SCR. Okay. So, if you, if you take this one common, you will get 1 plus uh, R square, S square, C square, that is it, ok, you divide by 1 plus SCR, ok. So, this, uh, this you can write it as if we take 2 common, you will get V1 plus Vf divided by 2 into 1 plus SCR into 1 plus SCR. What is it? Uh, into 1 plus s square r square c square. Okay. So, this is uh, this will be whole square and uh, if I divide the whole term by v1 plus vf, uh, you will get uh, this equation. So, if I invert this uh, equation, I will get this one and uh, from this equation, I can write it as um, V1 by Vf plus 1 is equal to 2 into 1 plus SCR square divided by 1 plus S square R square C square. Okay. So, uh, V1 by Vf is equal to 2 into 1 plus SCR whole square divided by 1 plus S square R square C square minus 1. 
so uh, this is a plus b the whole square term so you can expand uh, this equation and you can bring this uh, subtraction signal inside this basis uh, you will get this one <coughs> now i can solve this one this becomes uh, plus c square r square c square and 2 minus 1 is 1 okay so what is v uh, we need beta what is beta beta is nothing but vf by v1 okay so vf by v1 is uh, inversion of this one so i can substitute uh, uh, instead of yes uh, yes is nothing but j omega what is s square s square is equal to minus omega square okay so you substitute uh, here and uh, now i am going to solve this uh, e uh, equation so if uh, uh, if i equate uh, imaginary term imaginary term equal to 0 on this equation okay this is equation 7 so if i equate this one i will get uh, sorry real term uh, real term to 0 I will get 1 minus omega square r square c square is equal to 0 um, so omega square is equal to 1 divided by r square c square so what is omega now omega is equal to 1 divided by rc so uh, this 2 pi f omega is nothing but 2 pi f rc so fr is nothing but 1 divided by 2 pi rc so this is how the uh, the signal look like so this is nothing but a band stop filter so this is your low pass filter and this is your high pass filter okay so here the circuit will not oscillate at the fr since we have employed the negative feedback right since we have applied a uh, negative feedback you can see this tnt network is connected to the negative and it is connected uh, to uh, input and the output is connected in this way so it is we have employed a negative feedback so the circuit will not oscillate at uh, uh, fr um, and uh, we have produced uh, um, at uh, at the non inverting terminal you can see at the non inverting terminal uh, the output are output is uh, in phase with the input okay we have employed a positive feedback so therefore it will produce uh, uh, oscillation at the output because uh, we have employed the positive feedback here So uh, that's all about the video. Thank you very much.